the biggest thing I took from playing at Raritan was the memories and the relationships I had with those girls. Um, one of the main reasons why I stayed at Raritan and played for that team, even though they weren't as talented as other schools, was because I was so like close with all the girls on the team. Um, a lot of them are still my best friends now, so um, I think the main thing that like I got from that was the relationships that I'm still close with today. It's crazy to think that teams aren't as close as the programs that I've been a part of in my life. Um, I'm lucky to have been on teams that have been as close as this, um, where we're all actually enjoy being around each other, but I definitely couldn't have imagined going to a school that wasn't a close team like what I had in high school. Scoring my thousand point, uh, I didn't know I was going to score it my senior year. Uh, it was kind of a surprise. I didn't know until like a couple games before. And uh, I didn't think I would score it because we didn't play as many games as a lot of people do. Uh, we don't usually make the state tournament, we don't usually make sure conference tournament. So playing less games, you know, makes it really hard to accomplish something like that. So that was definitely like one of the biggest moments of my high school career. Um, I'm so happy I came here. Best decision I made. I think something that differs from um, you know, maybe committing to a Division One school and committing here is everything she's telling me is truthful, I know, because, you know, there's not really scholarship money involved or anything, so, you know, what she says is what she means, and on top of that, the coaching staff is great, uh, they're so friendly, they're another big part of why I wanted to come here, because of the relationships that they form with their players. I love having teammates that I are from the same area as me. I played with Zoe prior to coming here, so, I was it was kind of comforting knowing someone already coming in and then over the summer it's great like we train together and because we live so close so I we definitely talk about you know we have a different relationship because we're all from the same area we know a lot of the same players since I've graduated and since I've left the short conference high school area there's so many more girls going division one and there's I feel like there's so many girls involved in basketball and you know, really taking it seriously. That would be the only thing that I would think would be different um, from when I was there. You have to look at, at so many other things besides basketball. You need to look at, like you said, playing time and stuff like that, uh, the coaching staff, the kind of school it is, the teammates, uh, the location, things like that. One of the things I like about Montclair is that it's only 45 minutes from my house. So I'm able to see my parents every game. Uh, that was important to me. And being able to go home and stuff like that. So to other girls looking to go to college, I would say don't base it off of, you know, scholarship. Base it off of what would make you happy and where you think you'll be most successful. That yeah. is going to do it. The celebration begins at Panzer Athletic Center. The Montclair State Redhawks have completed the drive for five. It's a fifth straight NJAC championship for Karen Harvey and this outstanding Montclair State University program.